Hi there, I'm going to show you um, how the best way I think is to get the best from your GTX 750 Ti on future pinballs. So it's going to be a bit of a demonstration here. But as you can see the quality of the ball movement there. But it's very smooth. You only live twice in the park. And well the main thing is it's not stuttering as it, as it goes. Uh, there is a certain thing with um, slam tilt physics, is that I'm doing this one hand by the way, is that it, it actually goes faster I think than the TV can, can actually allow. So um, it, it actually goes faster than 60 hertz I think. So. I can't do much about really? that, that's the TV. I'm speechless with admiration. What I'm going to show you is um, the settings I've got. Hopefully they'll be, um, they'll be uh, a help to everybody. Okay. So, right, this is my future pinball settings here. Let's go from the top down, let's just get the controller. Right, so. Bear with us. Okay, this is so. Uh, this is in the uh, control panel, future game, uh, future pinball settings, and I've got an, uh, ambient occlusion. Can't change. Anti anisotropic filtering. Application controlled. Anti-lasing FXAA off, anti-lasing gamma correction on, um, anti-lasing mode application controlled, anti-lasing setting application controlled, transparency off, CUGPS use global settings all. Oh, I'm going to change anything. Right, maximum pre-rendered frames. Use the 3D application setting. Um, multi display mixed GPU acceleration. Now, this is very important, and the new N NVIDIA driver doesn't actually um, allow this anymore, so it's not worth getting the new driver. Roll it back if you can. I've made a sort of a comment on that on the um, one of the websites. So, yeah, keep that, make sure that's there, and that has to be multi. Discipline performance mode, otherwise, you're going to lose about sort of seven or eight frames per second, right? And then you've got um, power management, maximum performance, shader cache on, texture filtering off, texture filtering negative LOD bias allow, texture filtering quality, quality, texture filtering trial linear optimization on, um, threaded optimization on. Um, I'll be, I mean, by the way, if anyone finds anything better than this, let me know, but this is what I think. Uh, triple buffering on, vertical sync, use the 3D application settings, virtual reality, pre-render frames 1. So that's the Ndivia settings. Okay, and then on the future pinball, I've basically used um, what Terry Red suggested. So I'll just call that up. got BAM on there as well. Right, so this is my future pinball. I'll just go to the preferences here and show you that. And your options right. Okay, so use second monitor, yes, play field and that's what sets a nine nineteen twenty by one oh eighty full screen and arcade mode, wide screen, thirty two BPP, vertical sync, um, render quality, high quality, and um, bilinear, it's important, 24 antistrophic filtering, 
antilasing two times sample flare uh, I've got seven lights to use flares on flashes, flares on play field lights full table two ok, super nice crystal rendering, high quality pinball models ball marks, dirt, facets 64, facets on rubber 64, sides on rubber 20 sides on wire guides 20, model quality high, maximum and then I've only just rendered ornaments oh, I'll just turn that one off on that that's the only one I've got on uh, I don't bother mirroring the play field into the ball some people might want to do that but I think it's not really worth doing um, so that's that just going to check I haven't changed that because it's in flash well, I'll check that later pretty sure that was there anyway so ok so then if I just go back into the game again I'm just going to show you the band settings as well Basically, it and I'll just show you with the, if I press the F9 button on my keyboard over here. Okay, thanks. Hope this helps you out. 